Hi everyone, it's Anthony here. We've reached Psalm 91 in our walk through the book of Psalms. It's a great psalm of confidence and it reads like this. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. The whole psalm is built around pictures of God's ability to protect us. The opening verses talk about taking refuge in a shelter, resting in the shadow of a great tree or a building, being in a fortress, images of security and protection. In one moment we feel the protecting warmth of feathers as we take shelter under God's wings and in the next moment we feel the protecting metal of military armour and so the psalm goes on. It's very powerful. On the face of it, Psalm 91 seems to promise complete protection. And of course, we might ask whether that's really the case. Indeed, the devil quotes this psalm to Jesus when he tempts Jesus to jump from the highest point of the temple. The devil wanted Jesus to use this promised protection of God's angels as a magic wand, as a way of putting God to the test. But Jesus disagrees with the way Satan wants him to claim the promise of Psalm 91. That's not the way that this works. It's not that we're whisked away from the drama of life. But we can be sure of God's protecting love in the drama of life. And the psalm allows a way for us to express our trust in God to keep us through all things. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that your word holds together the reality of suffering in the world alongside the reality of your protecting presence through our suffering. If not in this life, then in the next. Help us when we're frightened or feeling threatened to place ourselves under the shadow of your wings, knowing that nothing can separate us from the love that you've shown in Jesus. In his name we pray.